Hey guys, welcome to Southern Sport Fishing. Uh, today I'm going to do a little like how-to video uh, on a video I've already made, uh, how to make the lure out of the nickel, except this time it's going to be a lot more detailed and I'm going to actually make one opposed to just telling you how I made the first one, okay? And uh, today's video is kind of going to update you all on like what I want to do with the channel and how I've been going. Like pretty much guys, I just didn't make videos for a while and... I don't even remember how old I was, but now now I'm 17, and I know what I'm doing, and I know what I want to do with this. So, we're just going to see. This is going to be my first video blog. It's, I'm going to call it a fishing log, a flog. So, that's going to be uh, my thing, and we're going we're gonna to go with that. We're going to see how that works out. So, just to get started here, all we're really going to need is a nickel, a treble hook, a clip, a uh, swivel clip, and a split ring. You can also have, look right here on this completed project, I've used some uh, 30 pound Pro Cat braid and colored it a little bit with a Sharpie marker. But you can also use uh, little rubber pieces or like little, uh, I have a red plastic little spinner thing to put on there to give it a little bit more action. And uh, so material wise, besides that, you're gonna need some sort of little push pin, like um, I'm not exactly, like it's like kind of like a hole punch. They use, it's, it's for a hammer. You, you have to use a hammer. It has to have a metal uh, punch because uh, I couldn't find this at first when I made this one. And I used a, uh, I used a screwdriver. It did not turn out well. Screwdriver's ruined. So, uh, and we need a hammer and basically some pliers just to get this clip ring on, split ring on there. Uh, if you have split ring pliers, it's probably gonna work a lot better. Okay, so uh, basically with the steps, you can see here on the finished product what it looks like. This one is uh, relatively new, and I'm gonna have a video at the end showing you on me testing this exact one. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how to make one and show you how it works. So first of all, you're just gonna wanna get your nickel, and uh, I recommend like lining this up maybe with like a ruler or something and putting little marks, but today we're just gonna wing it. And uh, we're really gonna need to put a, a point right here at top and a point on the bottom, kinda like this right here. See what I'm saying? Uh, I'm both on top, parallel. So this can kind of get a little, a little loud. So I'm kind of second my second guessing myself here. I'm probably gonna take this downstairs and put it on maybe like the uh, the garage floor to do this because it can get really loud. I'm upstairs right now, so we're gonna get right back. I'm gonna put the holes in each side and I'm gonna do the bin and I'll tell you how I did it when I get back. All right, guys, I uh, came back. Basically what I did was I uh, punched two holes here. If you can see that, let me see if you can see that. There you go, just like that. And then now it has like a nice curve to it. Okay, so this is gonna give us the action we want. Basically in the water, it, it looks like a spoon. It has the uh, movement of a crankbait and you have to kind of work it like a jerkbait, like pop it a little bit, like jerk it side to side sometimes and that gives it really the action you're looking for. If you're using it in some high current waters, it'll be able to move like, it, it moves like this through the water. If you can understand that at all, so. We have that there. The way I uh, curve it is I put it on, I put it on the garage floor carpet, right? After I put the holes in it, so it's still completely flat. And I laid this on top of the flat nickel. Let me see, I have a flat nickel right here. So here, look, we have a flat nickel and you put it on just like that and you hit the hammer and you hit it a couple times until it starts to bend and curve upwards. And this is the product we got. So, okay, from this point on, we're gonna put on the clip ring and then put on the treble hook. So, basically what I'm gonna need to do is just grab the split ring right there. That'll focus. Okay, it's probably not gonna focus, but Hopefully I'll get it. And we're gonna try to bend it on there into the hole and rotate it so we can actually apply the treble hook. Let me see if I can, oh man. Let's see if I can kind of show y'all how I'm going about this. It takes a lot of muscle and just mostly coordination to do this. It's a, it's relatively simple. But I'm pretty sure split rings aren't made to bend this way. So that's that's the struggle we're having. 
almost out of it there. Okay. Hopefully some of you will understand my struggle. There we go, we got it over the top. And basically now I just have to make it not come off. And get it in that hole right there. So it's in the hole and now we just have to really rotate it. Bang. Actually, this is a little shortcut I found while making these. If you, right when you put it through the hole, it's gonna be open a little bit, right when that happens. Why not just put your hook right in there? Actually, let me put on my, I have a little skirt thing I got from Academy. I'll put that over the hook and put that on there. Hold it down now, you can just rotate it onto the lure's body itself and the hook at the exact same time. It's pretty easy. I almost got myself there. There you go. Hook has been applied to the lure. Now this, this treble is pretty big compared to the other one, but it still all works the same. The, the body is the thing that's going to be doing the movement, so... And this is the easy part. All we gotta do is get a basic clip ring. I, just, I think I bought these from a razor sharper eagle claw, rather. Actually, that might be the same company. I'm not 100% sure, so don't hold me to that. You clip it on there, bam, that's your whole entire lure right there, guys. That, that was simple. That only took us about five minutes. Very cheap, it's only a nickel, and then most of y'all will already have this stuff, so. I'm gonna... Take one, take this one out to the lake and show y'all what it can do. If you're in like, if you're in water that doesn't have current, a current usually picks it up. Like right now, there's some heavy duty wind right now, so it's it's really picking up the lure for me. If there wasn't this, I'd, I, you'd have to pop it side to side a little bit. Guys. Little bass. On the nickel. Alright guys, so that's like all we were really able to do today with this lure, but uh that just really goes to show what it can do, okay? Like, that was just a local pond. Maybe if you took this out to a pond with bigger fish, you'd catch a bigger fish. Maybe you could catch, if you pop this in front of a gar, you'd catch a gar. I, I think I could do that too. If I saw a gar, maybe I could have done it. But, you know, um, hopefully some of y'all try to make this because I know on the other video, even though it was way less quality, some of y'all still managed to make this and send me feedback. So, if you want, maybe make it and send me a, well, leave me a comment down below. Tell me how it was. And uh, if you liked the video, how about you leave a like down below and subscribe for more content like this or uh, something different. I'm going to see what, where I'm going to go with this, but this is a good start. So if you like these lures and you want to try them, leave a comment down below and tell me how it goes, guys. In the meantime, thanks for watching. I'll see you all later.